Good day, Mog Senior High School. This is Sir Glenn Cadizarandilia for English for Academic and Professional Purposes, Lesson 2. Now, Lesson 2 is language used in academic writing. So, what I need to know. For learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to first determine the language style in academic writing. Second, differentiate language style used in academic text from various disciplines and third construct paragraphs using academic language now what's in now let's recall first a well-structured text enables the reader to follow the argument and navigate the text second a clear structure and a logical flow are imperative to co a, co a cohesive text Third, most academic texts flow or follow established structures such as three-part essay structure and the Imrad um, structure. And fourth, structure should be considered on all levels of text, so you will also find information on structuring paragraphs. So what I need to know, let's have um, an assessment here. So let's answer this. So I'll read a direction. Use the given subject and verb in, in constructing your own sentence. Observe subject verb agreement in your sentences. You may add S or ES to a verb. Uh, to the verb, and then write your answer in your notebook. So answer this in your um, activity notebook. Now what's new? Let's move on. Spot the difference. Directions. What is the difference in the following pairs of sentences? Explain your answer. Write your answer in your notebook. So pair one, pair two. Right? So explain what you have observed. What is it? What is an academic language? Now take note that an academic language represents the language demands of school, or the academics, Academic language include language used in textbook, classrooms, test, and each discipline. It is different in vocabulary and structure from the everyday spoken English of social interaction. Each type of communication, both academic and social, has its purpose. Neither is superior to the other. So, what is academic writing? It is generally quite first formal, objective, impersonal, and technical as illustrated in the diagram below. So take note on the diagram. The academic language is um, divided into three, formal, objective, technical. The formal avoid casual or conversational such as contractions and informal vocabulary. Objective, avoid personal or direct reference to people or feelings. The third, a technical use vocabulary specific to discipline. It is formal by avoiding the casual or conversational language as been presented in the diagram. Now, what is formal and what is objective and of course technical? Okay, so read the following um, differences. No, what's more let's practice All right so answer this in your activity notebook so what is the direction what do you think is the most correct answer in the following sentences or instances write your answer in your notebook one to ten so what can i do let's do it sentence construction direction transform the single sentence into compound or complex sentence um, write your answer in your notebook. The first one is done for you. So, example, the exam is difficult. It is also exasperating. So, the answer is the exam is difficult and exasperating. All right, so answer the rest. Post-assessment. Let's answer this. Direction. Choose the word that best answer the given um, question. Write a letter in your answer or in of your answer in your notebook. So read an answer, 10 items. What I have learned, so answer again this part. All right? Thank you, and that is lesson two. Good day.